This game is called Cavern Sweeper, another game by the Babazoo creator. This is a game where there are multiple monster types in the Beast Theory. So they each have different patterns. The slimes act like regular monster patterns, and then we have this ghost. Uh, yeah, okay, accidentally closed it there, but... Yeah, so monsters actually have a wider radius than the standard Mind Super Mines, and they also have different point values. So let's just show this off here. Now I can mark tiles with right mouse, and the number actually updates. So you see how the different enemies like change the amount of mines displayed. So a regular monster is one, and then you can upgrade the, the monster you flag. You can also say it's a slime or a ghost. The ghost is probably the trickiest one because like. Well, first of all, I'd like to point out this pattern is very suspicious. That is a huge sign that it's a three monster there. Um, and then we have this three, which doesn't have anything in here. So that's probably a ghost. Like it even shows the X's. I think there's a ghost in this square. And then we have zeros. Although like when I, when I see a zero, I put, um, I open up the empty spaces here. We do have like three health here, but like opening up the empty spaces nearby the zero, like in regular mind sweeper, isn't actually as uh, it isn't as harmless as it looks because of the ghosts. The ghosts could like trick you. So okay, so we see this one, and that is in two range, so it must be the one here. There we go. Now this is a no. That's sees a one, so there's no way there's a ghost in there. Let's open this up. Okay, this one is two away from this mine, so that's probably where that is. Yeah, now let me open that. Let's see, this is this section is a little suspicious. See, this one is also two away, so I'm gonna mark that. Once again, I'm going to be a little suspicious of ghosts. Now, if I see this two, then I know this isn't a ghost because ghosts are three value. So this, if there was a ghost here, it would either, it would say like three or at least three, basically. Um, just want to be paranoid, uh, fairly paranoid of everything that I see here. Now, there could be slimes around here. Um, yeah, this feels like it would be a slime to me, although it could be that, uh, that a regular monster is here. It seems like there's nothing that prevents that from happening. Uh, this one is suspicious, yeah, because it's too away again. Okay, open this up. Be careful of ghosts. Could there be a ghost here? Nah. But this... I don't know where that three comes from. It's probably from over here. Uh, actually, there's no ghost in here because I see this one is looking at that tile. It's looking more and more like the square here is a big monster like this. There we go. Now, if I do fail and mess it up, there is, like... I do have a bunch of health, so... This looks like a slime to me. Like, there's nothing that can really explain the number except the slime there. This is safe. This is safe. This, I'm not sure if it's safe. Well, no, because it's looking orthogonally to the zero. There we go. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this three is just like, yeah, it's it's got to be that. And what about these ones? Well, these ones, they look like a slime to me. Orthogonally adjacent is safe twos which look like slime territory as well is there anything else that could explain it i don't think so yeah it's probably well no it could actually be a slime of one or a slime of two no no it's got to be a slime of two there we go this area is still suspicious to me like it makes me think that that's true but i don't know what could explain some of these i guess this overlapping with that makes sense i can clear these out okay this is two away again, so mark that. Open some of these adjacent to zeros. Threes. A one? Diagonally here, it means it's a slime, I believe. Diagonally from the zero is fine when there's ones around it. So there's still a one here. I believe that can only be accounted for by another slime this way. This one, there's two away, so a regular monster is in there. It sees the two range again. Oh, this two sees two away, that's a regular monster. This one sees one away. And open up the adjacent, there you go. Click, click, click. Where did the... No, I'm... that adjacent is fine. Okay, this looks like a slime. 
Just a regular mice breast slime there. This three, that's got to be a ghost. You see, the three is here, but there's no three in this slot, so that is a ghost. Two, that's uh, two away. Just do that. And fill in some of these. One, that is two away. I think there's a slime around here. There's a regular monster, which would show that as an X. Actually, that's the only thing that could account for these ones, right? Unless there's like... Oh, there could be two mines farther away, that's why. Hold on, let's get rid of these. You gotta be wary about, like, that could be a slime or it could be a monster in that slot. I mean, this one that is two away. Oh, let's see these adjacent zeros. I assume they don't, like, auto-open some of these zeros sometimes because it would just be... It would make, like, the strategy for opening zeros too obvious. This two is two away. There's a one here. We can open that, which is adjacent to the zero. There's one two away. Okay. okay four. That looks like two slimes. Or is this like a slime here and a slime here? Yep. Okay. We fill out the bottom left section. The only thing that explains this diagonal one is a slime or a monster. It's definitely a slime. Same is true for this two. It's just a level two slime here. I mean, because it couldn't have been a monster is something that I forgot to say. Because it would add numbers to cells that didn't have any. Oh, I forgot. This is zero. This bottom left... Oh, bottom right cell is safe because this is a two and a one. Like, it could be a ghost that happens to be looking at it. Now we have this one on a diagonal, but there's something in two range as well. So I'm not sure about that. This could be... Some of these stories could be hit by ghosts. Uh, I'm pretty sure this two is a level two slime. Like that's the only thing that can hit that. And yeah, there we go. That's a ghost. That is the common pattern of a ghost. Okay. Soon enough, I'll be able to be unparanoid about the ghosts. One, but still four away. This two definitely is a level two regular monster. I love the, the statement of regular monster in this context. Considering it's definitely not regular mind sweeper logic there. Anyway, these ones that are look diagonally it makes it feel like there's a there is a monster there, but I can't tell. I've never really not noticed these diagonal zeros. <sighs> Come on. There we go. It's being dumb. Diagonal zero as well. Open that. See, this two looks more and more like it's just a slime, but I'm not quite sure. Actually, no, this one sees two range, so there we go. And that, well, I think that one is a slime. The only thing explains that and that. Unfortunately, it didn't help with the amount. I was hoping to get, get like a ghost or something so I could rule out some of these uh, things on the right side. I think there's a non trivial thing about this three. So, this three can only get its three from two of these sources. So it's got like a slime and maybe that. But I know that it's not a ghost here because. Because it makes zeros that we would open up, and then this three would have nothing that could account for it. So that's not a ghost at least, but I can't tell what else it is about. Like, it's probably just a single level three monster, but as you can see, I can make a scenario where that's not it. So no one pay attention to the timer. But anyway, I think this two, it could come from far away. But I don't actually think so, because this 5 requires a 2 and a, and a 3 nearby, and, well, uh-oh, it could happen with a ghost. No, wait, the ghost can't do it. Okay, yeah, that 3 is definitely coming from a long range, like, it's either a ghost here or a 3 regular monster here. But how are we going to get the 2? I'll just mark that as the big monster for now, because even though it could be a ghost. Because uh, I think there's an interaction with the 2 and the 1 here. Like, whatever's accounting for the two must be accounting for both of them, because if it's a long-range two, then there's no way to account for this properly. And it could be two ones. Uh, that would be two slimes. But then this one is nothing that it can get to that will account for this one, because it can't be a monster here. As would ruin some numbers, the same is true for that. So, I think there's a two slime here. 
an X3 here. It, but we don't actually know if this is a ghost or not. Uh, this is fine, though. Okay, and now only one thing can account for this one, which is a... Um, it's not a regular monster, it is a slime. Uh, we do have three, so we gotta be careful, because they could be a ghost. I'm just filling in random things on the right side. I have not, not seen deductions yet, although I do notice if I put in two threes like this, then I will not have enough to do whatever is needed here. So that's interesting. Okay, it might be dumb, but I literally can't keep with anything. thing. Like, there's too many possibilities. I'm going to fake assume that this is a three. Okay, interesting. And if I'm gonna... And I'm proven wrong about that, then... Obviously, there will be an error at some point. Um, error is and I'll take damage for being dumb. But... Seven? That's pretty insane. This two can only be accounted for by two diagonally. Uh... But I don't know if it's um, a slime or a regular monster. Oh, this one is only, can only be accounted for a slime, and there's actually no more slimes left, so that provides, provides a lot of information. That one is definitely just a single monster now. Threes and fours. Still need to be careful about ghosts, although actually this three is a big monster, and there are no more big monsters left. So, all the zeros, diagonally is safe. That one looks very vicious. Yeah, it's definitely a regular monster, and that area is clear. This two, it sees a rain. It sees the monster here. That zero, it's safe to go here because this two. Well, we should basically confirm that was correct. That's a big monster, right? Yeah. Okay. And orthogonally away from the zero is safe. This two. Is Still don't know if it's a slime or regular monster, although we are losing, uh... Oh. Okay, this two... This two can only be accounted for by this cell. And if it's a regular monster, then these cells are wrong, so it's a regular slime. Okay. Now this is a two. Which means the cell is safe to open, because it's diagonally away from that zero. Hmm... Two more ghosts are remaining. Actually, like, this is this looks suspicious to me that the numbers are so high. Yeah, th this five needs to see two things, and it's probably a ghost and a slime. Actually, wait, what am I doing? A regular monster can't be the one there. There you go. And that's a ghost, very likely. Okay. What's this? This is a ghost, then, instead of a big monster. There we go. And now we only have two monsters left. Which is a just regular one attack. <laughs> it's the first time we call it an attack monster and a two attack monster. There we go. Uh, why am I taking so long to figure out where the one is here? That's it, right? There we go, victory. So, yeah, that's Minesweeper with different variant. Uh, different monsters there's like for some reason the winds never updated this game but there's also serpents they're like a hard mode of course and this serpent mode i'm not even sure i'm going to do it seems like it's it's way too much like it's it's even more difficult to figure out because it's like this new diagonal pattern and it's also using like simple numbers like one and two which are easily confusable but anyway yeah that was my sweeper with different uh, enemy types, so there you go. Bye.